Alrighty guys, welcome, welcome. It is Friday. We are playing some Omori tonight. It's the start of Halloween weekend. Let's um let's get started. Um We're still looking for Basil. We're still trying to figure out exactly what's going on with him. Um we did not end the game last time like we thought we were going to, so. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Abel, I appreciate it. We're in the Halloween mood today. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's pull this down. to go <gasps> a mimic rude I suppose I should have guessed that dynamite okay 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 That's gonna be a mimic. Just kidding. I guess you really can't tell when they're gonna be a mimic and when they're not. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Ah. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. A sprout mole? Can I talk to him? No. Poor sprout mole! Oh! Ah! Oh, there was something there, I think. Back it. Yep. There was a ghosty there. Hey, look! It's a flower crown! Oh no. All the flowers are bruised up. It, it looks kind of familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. Do you think we should try and return it to them? This flower crown is in pretty bad condition. I don't think anyone would want something like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Kel, what did you do that for? It's fine, you hear what Hero said. No one would want something as bruised up as that. But it used to belong to someone. Kicking it off a cliff is just mean. Huh? Why? Flowers grow back anyway, don't they? All right, calm down, you two. Kel, apologize to Aubrey. Fine, sorry, Aubrey. Apology not accepted. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm trying to decide if Basil is super depressed or if he's like homicidal. Why not both? It could be both. I'm guessing, like, so, well, I guess it could still apply. So, m at the very beginning of the game, Basil sees a photograph, which I'm assuming is of Mari's death. That's what I'm thinking. But is he sad because it's the death, or is he upset because he caused the death, or I, which I guess could still be like a both kind of a situation. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, just, it's like I said last time. I think there's 
something a little bit sus <laughs> about Basil. I used to just think like he was really depressed, but I think he knows a little bit more than he lets on. I think he's kind of manipulative. Omori is pretty creepy too though. Like all of his skills are really dark. And manipulative and mean. None of his stuff has to do with happiness. It's all anger and sadness. Which are still valid emotions, don't get me wrong. But he's kind of scary. Good crap, Mar Marina's 667th experiment. Do not poke the class. <gasps> My God. Oh, my God. No! Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that noise. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, God. Is it just like avoid until you can't avoid anymore? <laughs> I hate this. supposed to do. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Come up here to me, kitty kitty. Kids, you walked into the wrong wheel. Someone's gotta pay for all of this. 
I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Ooh. This one is too pretty to sell, isn't he, Molly? Well, I like the quiet one. You would make a great pet. Don't you touch him! Let us go now! We didn't do anything wrong! Ooh, feisty. I didn't think you'd like this one, Marina. <laughs> well, I guess just selling one will do. Oh, no! Hey! Let me go! If you kids can't play us in clams, you have to pay us with your arms and legs. Go! No! Let go of me! Put me down! Put me down! Ugh, what the heck? He bit me! Oh, settle down, Marina. <laughs> it's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this brat. Well, now it seems you've gotten Marina all worked up. Her little prey is biting back. Guys, it looks like we're gonna have to fight our way out of this one. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Yes, it sounds like our prey needs to be disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children some proper manners. For prey, you're all way too picky. You don't want to be sold, you don't want to be pet. You should really learn your place. Well, whatever. That's fine with us. There's always another option. If you're going to keep resisting, you leave us with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll have to turn you into chum instead. <gasps> oh no, I love them! I love all of them. Oh my god. Maybe so are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time we switch things up. Just relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Heart and juice were swapped! Ah! 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 Morning, Masa come. A chainsaw? Don't kill him, please. Fuck. I hit the wrong thing, I hit the wrong thing, I hit the wrong thing, I hit the wrong thing. Oh, god damn it. I'm mad about that, actually. We actually got to number 10 and I hit the wrong direction key. That's unfortunate. Perhaps we should plan an escape. We've already expended so much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to swim like the fishes. Oh, sad. Yoo-hoo! Ah! That was a really lackluster scream, I know. My friends, may I also you look delicious right now? Humphrey, stop this. Haven't you eaten enough? We'll promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast, time to feast. Time for you to be deceased. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? You should have thought of that before you walked into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no good, guys. I don't know if there's a way out of here. Don't say that, hero. Yeah, we can't let it in like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's no need to struggle, children. Then again, it is always more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Now you all just sit still. The preparations have already been made. Dinner is being served, and you're on the menu. Shit. Time to feast, time to feast, time for you to be deceased! The final fight has just begun, but can you win if we work as one? Ooh. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, that's really creepy. Okay. Humphrey Grand. Okay. Let's get Mono uh, Release Energy. Had like one finger on the keyboard. Nothing else. Just a warning, it's about to get smelly. It's time for you to all get in my belly. Did I just waste- oh, what the fuck? Did it just waste my- okay, there we go. That scared me. Mouth waters incessantly, it says no. Okay. Attack. Hungry. A thousand damage did that little of a chunk. Who baby. Okay. There's no need to squirm. Ignorance is bliss. How many times must we do this? Until you give up, whale. Until you give up. That's getting nastier every time. I feel like we're going to get like teleported into something. I didn't mean by that, but that works. But uh, when we get uh, the last key. <gasps> you have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventures may be disparate. But as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. Okay. Mm. All the little fear things are on the sides. The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It moved to a lighthouse and a pier. Then to a library, banished deep underground. And after that, to an old barn on a distant planet. And this time, it will be in the heart of a vast forest. Hmm, okay. Interesting. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve, and each time they grow wings and to fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to their grave. Fuck. Death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times, your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Although they are revived time and time again, the most haunting stay in this world, even if only their bones remain. The long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Oof. Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect, and when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew with the undying soul you have cursed her with. Oh, buddy. The souls assigned to your friends, they are fragile and must be protected, and so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. What is she saying? This is the window in the room with the piano. Mm. 
You know the keys to the other room. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering. But if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown itself, true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn, to the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over, or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there's nothing left. doing just the other day nose was telling me that this cute little leaf she met but she tried to be its friend all it wanted to talk about was how much it hated bunnies how could someone hate bunnies i just don't understand some people nutritious candy so we lost our sister and in our dream we gave her a picnic blanket to stay by because we didn't want her to get hurt again that makes me think that it's not um that makes me think that it was not suicide she got hurt Oof. um Okay. Jawson told me the passwords once so I can complete one of his errands. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. What's the password? No password, no entry. Oh, I need to probably switch to hero. Oh, that was cute. Hey ho, it's me here. The password is here, my man. Welcome, welcome. Doors unlocked. Come right in. Make yourselves at home, kiddos. Any friend of Hero is a friend of mine. Fair. Where is fair? Out of Bonds with your friends? Yeah! Cal sits on a fucking box. Of course he does. Um, I thought it was a really interesting episode this time around. Like, just really unnerving. Kind of exactly what we were wanting, right? Um, because it's been a little bit easy as far as the being made to feel uncomfortable bit goes. Um... There we go. Um, so, I don't know, it just, it's been nice, I don't know. Oh yay! So happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Rubber duck. Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Would you like a cup of tea? Cute. I love it. Okay. Um. Yeah, there were a lot more to think. Of, a lot more things to think about this. Uh, this episode, I guess. I don't know. Um, than before. So I quite enjoyed that. Um, next time, we still don't know what to do with the joke book. Strange list we already finished. Cool key card we only already finished. Spooky map. 
So we need to find our way back to that castle and find some more ghosts. Um, matchbox we already used. Bad drawing, we have no idea. And train pass and the care package. Were we just in the Sproutmill colony? Is there another Sproutmill colony? I have a feeling we got that in the other Sproutmill colony. It's just a feeling though. I'm not positive on that. So, um, supposedly we're supposed to go back to a forest. Uh, I don't really know where in the forest we're supposed to be going, but I think the spot we're supposed to be in is in here. Um, though both areas are in the forest on either side, so it's a toss-up on which it could be. So that's a little weird, but we'll figure it out. I'll be streaming on Halloween. It's, um, I know we have in the past, but it's Sunday and I want to uh, just kind of relax and take it easy um, for that day. So that'll be the plan for that. Um, I totally don't remember how to do like anything in this area. Oh well. Let's just go ahead and um, heal up and then save and then we'll call it for tonight. But I'm glad you guys came and hung out with me through this particular run through. Um, I feel like we did get a lot done at the very least. So. Um, may or may not see you guys tomorrow, um, so if I don't, then have a wonderful Halloween, uh, have a wonderful rest of your evening, um, and, uh, we'll see what we're doing tomorrow, so, bye!